Well, so my point here really depends on how we interpret this obligation, right? On the one hand, if all that you are requiring from these providers is that they document in a general sense or general manner and make publicly available a summary of the use of training data protected under copyright law, then I don't think this is very useful. So it's not clear what this summary would entail and how it could help copyright holders to have a better understanding of other materials are used for training purposes. For instance, with a view to check whether the text and data mining in question complies with legal requirements and to reserve their rights under, as I'm sure we'll discuss, Article 4 of the directive, eventually leading to possibilities to generate licensing revenue. Having said that, it is arguable that some level of transparency, for instance, at the level of what websites were scraped, and uh, that could help rights holders to ascertain whether such activity complies with the requirement that TDM is made from a lawfully accessible source and other materials. Now, whether this is sufficient or satisfactory is doubtful. Now, on the other hand, and what I mentioned also in the article is that if the obligation to document as the goal of generative AI providers listing all or most of the copyright material that they are including in their training data sets in an itemized manner with clear indication of rights ownership claims and things like that, then I think it's impossible to comply with it, right? The low threshold of originality, the territorial fragmentation of copyright and its ownership, absence of a registration requirement for works, and in general, the poor state of rights ownership metadata kind of demonstrate this impossibility. So in the article, my suggestion is that legislators clarify the meaning and the scope of this obligation. And one approach I see would be to reconsider the provision in, in light of what's its policy aim, which in my mind at least appears to include a desire to help rights holders and artists and individual creators to exercise and possibly exploit commercially their rights over materials that are used during the training stage. If that is the case, then I think the provision should rather focus more on improving access to data sets, incentivizing cooperation between providers and rights holders, and possibly standardization of the reservation of rights or opt-outs which rights holders are entitled to under the directive. 